Hi and welcome to Make It Mug Won't. My name is Leanne. That's tiny. She won't stay long. Good morning. It's super early here and uh, Mr. Mug Wump's still in the bed. So we're going to talk quiet so uh, we don't wake him up. This is our hair ribbon to tart up our Monday look this morning. So I've been doing that thing. You know where you stay up too late at night to read. And then it's hard to get up in the morning. But it's the weekend, so you can get up later and later and later, you know. But then Monday comes. It's Monday. This is the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer Mist. So I set my alarm and I was really, really firm with myself. I was like, you will get up. We snoozed for 35 minutes. You know how it is. So this morning there's there's a little bit of a uh, some new products here that I want to try um, so it's not a whole lot but enough for there to be a, a video about it so I am um, I've got I pulled a couple things one thing I did pull um, was a one of the foil packets I keep these bad boys like in a makeup bag when I you know when I get them and then if I'm feeling froggy, it, you know, I just kind of paw through them and uh, pull something that I, I either feel like trying or whatever. So this is the the Derma Blend Instagrip Jelly Primer. It is a makeup gripping primer, an instant moisturizer, and a tightening mask. I'll be tightened. Thanks, Derma Blend. I might be able to get two uses out of this. We won't do what we did yesterday where we put the entire foil packet on our face and had to wipe half of it off because that was too much. Okay. Ooh, it's a little bit more runny than I anticipated. Okay. Ooh, it is sticky. Ooh. I don't know that I have any Derma Blend items. I don't know that I've ever been drawn to any of them. I know a lot of people like the powder the setting powder I don't but I don't have any anything from them okay yeah that was plenty for my whole face and uh we've got a couple more uses left let's try not to get that everywhere how about that what if we tried not to get that everywhere <sighs> welcome to my life it's a lot of getting stuff everywhere all right Blah. I don't really want that on my hands for the rest of the video. <laughs> okay, so I pulled a product that I haven't... Oh, wait. Glowy thing. Let's try the glowy thing for the day. This is the Rimmel. Good to glow in... It's a highlighter in 003 Soho Glow. And this is... It's, the, it's kind of the same color as the Josie Marin. But it is a different texture so those of you who are new to my channel welcome um, I'm trying on a hunt through my collection to find a, a dupe enough for me of the Josie Marin illuminator foil packet that I used up a couple weeks ago and so now I'm trying to find her within what I already own and this is very close this is very close oh that's good that's good that's good like that's very close y'all it's not quite as pigmented as the Josie Marin but that's pretty we've got several more to try I'm probably going to pick up the Josie Mare. And actually, I looked again at Sephora because the sale's coming up. Um, and it's only $26. Y'all, I'm probably going to do it. I'm probably going to do it just because I want it so bad. But I'm still going to try all the things. Anywho, I pulled this from my new drawer. And this is the Catrice 
Clean ID Hydro BB Cream. This is in the shade Fair Neutral. And I've had this for a while and I just hadn't tried it yet. But I thought that I'd probably want a little more coverage than this. So I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm gonna try to make the Danessa Myricks work. This is the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover Foundation and Concealer. We tried it all over my face. I used way too much. Um, so I'm gonna try to use her as like, not like, as a way to add a little, uh, some coverage to things that maybe don't have a lot of coverage. So we're just gonna do a little B. Just gonna do a little B of the Danessa Myricks in, in the BB cream. The Danessa Myricks is the dollop on top. So let's, you know, let's just give it a whirl. I've got one of these little spatulators from some Korean balm. They're almost exactly the same color. Uh, the Danessa Myricks is in shade N02. It's the shade that I have in her and so let's try to just, you know, use our products, make them work. I don't know. We'll see. We'll start with uh, real tech, uh, real techniques like to go brush, which is a favorite. This looks too light for my actual face, but it is not too light when blended into my neck. This is a curse of someone with freckles and pigmentation and all that, is that everything looks too light compared to your face, but not to your neck. Okay, that was such a little amount of product there, so let's... I think the Danessa Myricks is just too much on its own for me as a foundation. So I'm, I'm kind of on the lookout for a lighter coverage product that would mix well with it, that it helps, you know, the coverage of the lighter product, but it also goes well with the formula. And uh, this, this BB cream might be the thing. I don't know. The BB cream has a scent to it. It's like a fresh scent, but it, there is a scent. If you are sensitive to that, this is probably a BB cream for you. Don't know how I'm feeling yet. Just don't know. I don't hate it. I ain't mad at it. It is certainly much better than the Danessa Myricks on its own that I did that day, that fateful day when I put way too much on my face. So I can say that the BB cream has certainly helped. I love a BB cream because it is usually, it includes, you know, moisturizing products in its skincare items. And that is always a plus in my book. I'm not always going for any, you know, like full coverage on any given day. I like full coverage, but I also like, you know, light, medium coverage, medium coverage. Okay. So I would say this is mixed, the two. This is a light, I, don't know, I guess a heavy light coverage, but in every, you can see everything underneath. It did a good job of evening out my skin tone. It doesn't look heavy. It still looks dewy. Yeah. 
not bad. I got way too much on my palette, which is not unusual for me. I do that sometimes. So there's that. Let me get, let me get a wipe before I get this everywhere. Okay. So yeah, way too much on the palette. Probably two days worth there. So now we know way less. You, you learn, you learn. But I think that looks okay, don't you? I think it looks alright. I say palette. It's a Bath and Body Works candle lid. That's how we roll here. Okay, let me wipe off my little spatula. Put her back. Bing. Okay, let's do a newer product. This was in my Easter basket yesterday. This is the Winky Lux Perfect. No, Peepers. Peeper Perfect? Can't seem to get right. Peeper Perfect Under Eye Concealer in the shade Fair. My lovely husband made an Easter basket for me yesterday. And this was one of the items in it because he went to Target. And if you want to see everything in my basket, there's a there's a video. But, uh, and thank you so much for all your kind words. He's, he's, the, he's a mess, but also the best. Um, this product I wore yesterday, it wore pretty good. So, I'm happy. I told him specifically uh, that Winky Lux, I didn't have a lot of products. I didn't have any products from Winky Lux. And then... Beauty Bakery is another brand that's now carried in Target. And uh, so he got me a couple of products from both lines. And so that was very nice of him. The Easter Bunny did a good job over here. So there's the Winky Lux. It's not super brightening. I mean, he got the lighty shade. Um, it's not super brightening. But it's enough. Like it looks good and that blended in quite well with that BB cream foundation mixture. I am very glowy, which I appreciate. I'm gonna do a couple of cream steps before we powder. I'm gonna use again today the Breezy Cream Bronzer from Tarte in Seychelles. And um, this is just a pretty product, y'all. And it's it's it is a bit yellowy on me. Like it's I much prefer a more red tone, um, bronzy product for me. I don't contour. I just do this thing, the shape on the top of my face, and it's probably a bit weird, but it's what I do. Um, and then I'm gonna go over top of that. This is a highlighter from Lancome. It's the Glow Subtil. Uh, silky cream highlighter in glowing lights, but it is far too dark for me. Like it's a cream highlighter that is way too dark, but it does a great job over top of a bronzer. And so in spring and summer, I'm going to use her because I, it came in a, I think a highlighter kit from maybe Sephora. I'm thinking like one of those where you get like six or seven products. This is the one thing that I'm like, it doesn't work for me, but it, it does in this way. I put it over top of a cream bronzer and then it's a glowy cream blonde bronzer. It's a beautiful formula, this highlighter. It's just far too dark. So I'll do this and then I can use it and it's really pretty. I'm all about making it work. Like I just don't, if I can't make a product work, then it can go. But if I can make it work, I'm gonna make it work. That is really itchy right there. Okay. I feel like I took product off right there. I think I probably did. Okay, there we go. Keep that foundation brush clear or nearby so that you can, you know, clean up if you get a little crazy like I do someday. Here we go. 
that's really pretty. So that's really pretty. I like how that looks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's powder down. Then we've got a new blush and a new highlighter to use. Oh wait, let's do eye primer real quick before we powder. This is disgusting looking. This is um, a an Ulta product. This is called their Nude. I think it's just Nude like eye primer. It I got way too much. Oh my gosh. What have I done? I think I got it on the side of my brush. emergency and y'all this stuff is so waterproof hold on is it a video if I don't do something wackadoodle I doubt it so if you're new here this is par for the quick yeah I got a lot on the side my bad bro oh my lord what happened here Anyway, this product is crazy pigmented. Um, it's th thick. She thick, bro. Um, it is. It's, it's an Ulta brand branded product. Like it's their house brand. Comes in this like taupe colored squeezy tube. But the product is so thick it won't come out of the squeezy tube. So I squeeze that bad boy, cut it open. And, like got it into my little AOA studio container. Like you can see the bottom. Look, like this is some crazy, some crazy thick stuff. But it wears like iron all day long. It's beautiful. You just got to not dip your brush crazy up in it. Okay, Mama Crazy. Now let's powder. All right, I'm gonna go over. Real quick, my concealer real quick. Okay. I'm using a couple of old powders. The oldies but goodies. The first one is the Pat McGrath Under Eye Setting Powder. She's in light. I like her very much. She doesn't offer, like, coverage. You know what I'm talking about? It's not extra coverage. It can be extra brightening if you need it to be. Because it's like a white shade. Like it's bright. But she does a good job of setting without cakey. Which I like. The next is on its way out the door. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Powder Foundation in P4. And I'm going to set everywhere lighter over the bronzer than the other parts of my face. It's an interesting concept to set your face, like to, to put powder on but also to expect it to still kind of glow from within. And that's what that product underneath, and today it's the Rimmel, it does. It's a strange concept, but it works. I don't know, it works. So I'm loving it. All right, there's face set. Let's do brows real quick. And... We'll use the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil in Universal Taupe. Tiny goodness gracious. Where are you going? Do not wake up, Mr. Mugwump. Don't do it, Tiny. She sleeps with us in the bed. Which I know all the dog experts will tell you that's why she's a jerk. Probably is. But she sleeps 
with like with me like she's on my side if she could sleep with him she would but he's a, a furnace you know what I'm talking about so he doesn't like a dog on him because it makes him too hot like he could be too hot but you know what I'm saying other dog sleeps in her crate in our bedroom she prefers her crate we call it her house she loves her house so tiny you cannot cage tiny she hates she hates a crate she she hates it she would rather be free range chicken and so she sleeps much better and she sleeps through the night like she she's done that mostly since we got her and she's you know she likes that. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Dutch. All right, there's the old Ralph. Okay, so let me see what bronzer. Let's use the the least bronzer. This is a beautiful product. This is in medium. This is a powder bronzer from Lease Cosmetics. You can get Lease at Ulta Sephora. Maybe Sephora. Ulta? Sephora? Shoot, somebody tell me down below. Um, I would look it up, but you're on my phone, so I can't. <laughs> so I can't. So, it's a really, I have the foundation, it's so pretty. I'm gonna use it again this week. It is so pretty. This is a pretty product. I want one of their cream blushes. They were out of stock. I ordered from the actual website. So I want one of their cream blushes and I want one of their powders, like their setting powders. I know for sure I want those things. But that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful bronzer. Okay, so I'm trying to get out of the pack. <laughs> These are the other items. Recycling lives over there. Mr. Milk Lump got me um, two beauty bakery items from Target. In my Easter basket. These are the Snackaroons little beauty bakery bite size Snackaroons is what they're calling them. I love this brand's concepts. So fun. Um, so we've got a blush in Kiss My Cheeks and we have a highlighter in Sugar Coat Everything. So we're gonna use these today. This is not exactly the blush color that I would choose with what I'm wearing, but I don't care. I'm gonna use it today. We're gonna go lightly because I have a feeling that this that mm -hmm, goes one tap. Okay, we're gonna tap off some here on the old. Mm -hmm. That's so pretty. It is a super pigmented hot pink blush. This I'm going super super light, y'all. Like normally on any given day, I would go much heavier than this. But because of what uh, I'm wearing, it's a, it's a, a little bit, I was going to do kind of a mustardy eye, and this might not go with it, but it's going to go with it enough. This is so pretty. That is a beautiful blush. So there's that. That's pigmented, y'all. Kiss My Cheeks is the name of that. So cute. Yeah. And then let's use the highlighter. In sugarcoat everything. That should work light. Maybe a just like a, a, a champagne, like a light champagne. Oh wow, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, that's definitely light enough. Mm-hmm. We'll blend, but that is that's a powerful little punch there in that one. In sugarcoat everything. There you go. There you go. Okay. That's a nice base. It 
it's not full coverage. It's not super, it's not cakey at all. It's not too much. I think that's really nice. Let's set with the Milani Make It Last. I'm just gonna put, we'll use some Elf Hydrating Coconut Mist. For eyeshadow, I wanted to use a new product from Shop Miss A that I got just to see, you know, if it's any good. It's a dollar from Shop Miss A. It is a Muse Cosmetics. It's their Golden Era eyeshadow palette. One dollar. And it is got some neutrals some warms and I figured that this top would go well with the mustardy colors in it so let's try that out and see how she goes today and then I've got new mascaras that came in so let's do some eyeshadow there she is I touched a couple of colors in it but haven't swatched the whole thing, so let me get some brushes here. And see how we go with what we got. Okay. This eyeshadow primer is just amazing. Okay, I know I want the mustard color, so let's go ahead and get that maybe working in the crease. Do I want it everywhere? I don't know. Let's just start. Let's see how we how we go. I'm going to work very shortly, so I don't want crazy. Y'all know me. I can go crazy quick, but I'm not going for crazy today. We're not going for it, so let's attempt to control the crazy. This may be a controlled burn here. We'll see. So I used to work at State Park when I was younger, <laughs> in my 20s. And it was an interesting position. I was, I worked in the office of that State Park. My younger sister also worked at the State Park, uh, but she was like an assistant park ranger, like out in the, the actual park. I was in the office. There was an office in, um, secretarial work was a thing. I think I hear the mummy. Um, this is a pretty color. That's a very pretty color. Wow. Okay. Let's do some, I kind of just, is that a lash? Make a wish, everybody. Oh no, that's a bristle. <laughs> um, I kind of don't want to make it crazy, but I kind of want to make it curvy. I can't look too sick, can I? Not for work. Let's try, okay, this is like a, an orangey or darker. It's like a, it's an orangey or shade, yeah. This is not really kind of the color scheme of this time of year for me. Like I like spring pastels and pinks and you know all that. But this palette is new and I wanted to try it because I have had really good luck with the Muse Cosmetics like quads from Shop Miss A. Like very, like they're, they're beautiful. And so I want to try products for y'all so that you know whether or not it's like worth it. Like it's, you know, it's a dollar, but you got to, you know, order it and it's got to ship and all that. And so far, I'd say this eyeshadow palette is completely worth it. This is very nice. Um, there are two, four, six, 12 shades. Like, so far, we've used the mattes, and they are working beautifully. Okay, let's. So, there's. I don't want to go dark. 
I mean, I do, but I don't want to for work. So let's go with the, the light shimmer here. Let's see what she can do. She's okay. Not really impressed with her. I'm going to do the same on the other eye just because we have to. But then we'll figure out what to do here. It's not terrible. I mean, I'm one of those people that I like to like glow to the gods. So, it's not terrible. I just don't love it. Okay. Let me try, let me just look at a couple of the shimmers and let's see. I mean, those are, they're not great. It's enough to be called a shimmer. This, this is not, don't buy this for the shimmers. <laughs> Tell you that right now. There's much, much better out there. But the mattes in this are beautiful. Okay. So, I'll use another product. This is the Misha Glitter Prism Liquid in 07. And let's try her instead, like on top of. This is like a glitter and glow from Stila kind of product. Yep. That has much more of what I'm looking for. I did a Misha haul a couple weeks ago. And uh, got a lot of different base products like BB creams and such. And this is one of those items that I also picked up. Just a little bit more over here. Tiny's turning out in the other room. She does this when she wants her sister out of the crate. And Mr. Mugwump hasn't opened it yet. She acts like a Neanderthal. Okay, so I think that's much nicer. It's much more impactful. And I think that works really, really well. That's pretty. Now I will try this, this shimmer in the palette here as an inner corner. Let's see if that works better. It does. That's a, that's a, that's a decent inner corner there. I have an inner cavern. So we just fill it in with light bright stuff usually. Yeah, that works. Okay. Beautiful. I'm going to line, I think with one of these matte browns down here one of these chocolate browns um yeah, we'll use this darkest brown down here tap off really good so i don't get it all over my face this is a quick eyeshadow smudgy liner with an angled brush real quick just to Picking up the lower lash, I mean the lash line look. Not too much, not crazy, just a little bit. new mascaras so these i was reading reddit you know how dangerous reddit is and there was someone who said that this is her favorite mascara it is waterproof it is um, the Long and Curl Super Waterproof from Heroin Make in 01 Super Black. Tis a Japanese mascara. And then also, this is the Pimel Essence Mascara Base. So they're supposed to curl. And let's see. Like, such excitement. 
Good morning. The mommy walks. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. She's packaged tight. Okay, so this is the mascara base. Email. And then Mr. Muggle enjoyed like using his phone to interpret, not interpret, translate what all these things said. So this is the heroin make. Long and curl mascara, super waterproof. I have Snuffleupagus lashes that I can curl with a, you know, with a eyelash curler, and I do it every day. But it doesn't stay for almost every mascara. It the curl does not hold, and I do use waterproof mascaras uh, if I want the curl to hold longer. But they. It's not guaranteed. Like, it ain't gonna stay, stay. I have contemplated heated eyelash curler wands. But for those of you who know me, you've probably figured that that would be a good way for me to burn myself. Uh, and it probably is. So, I have not done that yet. I might in the future. But we're gonna try these to see how they go. I'm excited. Okay, so here's the the base. Okay. I read the reviews that said for the base, don't put on a lot, lot, like just do a one time and then stop. So it's clear, like it's not white that I could tell. <laughs> so we're gonna wait just a second and then we're gonna try long and curl, super waterproof. Let's see what we got. If I'm feeling in an ex experimental mood, we'll one day we'll do one with the primer and one without and we'll see how it goes. Okay, there's one. Okay, so there's one coat of the Give that a second, and we'll do coat numero deuce. I think as a first coat, I would, I'd say this is on the better end of mascaras on the first coat for me. The key is the second coat. This is not volumizing. That's nice. It is separating for sure. So if that's 
one of your favorite things. This is one of them that it's lengthening and separating. I'd give it that. Now what I'm gonna probably do is let's get kind of a volumizing one too. I'm just gonna go for big lashes today because I want to. This is the Too Faced Damn Girl. And this, you gotta, I gotta wipe this wand off a little bit like it's crazy. I think that's pretty good for me. Now, if the curl holds with this, I will be incredibly happy. If this curl holds for longer than a couple of hours, I will be very happy with this mascara. Y'all, I'm really glowy. Like, I am really glowy. And I like how that looks. I like it. Okay, let's do lips. I don't have anything new, so let's go with uh, one that I really like that Mr. Rug won't got me a while back. We'll do a little bit of lip liner as well. This is the Ulta Lip Liner in Flesh. Just a little bit of definition so that my freckles don't get in the way. This is the All May Go Wild lipstick. It is a beautiful peachy nude. I love it. He did such a good job with this. He just thought I'd like it because there was tigers up on it. And lepers and stuff. That's how my husband picks out makeup. <laughs> Works though, don't it? <laughs> Works for me. Okay. I'm going to do a quick gloss. This is the Bambi lip gloss from ColourPop. And I'm going to scrape a good amount off. I don't know what it is with companies lately. I say lately. I ain't like last couple of years that they have so much product come out on their their wands I mean I love a big wand of things like I love that but it's like the the stopper doesn't control the amount of product as good as I would like it to anyway there's that I am gonna quickly mattify just a little bit right here there's nothing really on this it's just dirty uh this is the blendiful from Tati um and I'm just gonna take down a little bit of shine, not a ton, just a little bit right there. You can't, I mean, you can use this to apply powder, obviously, but I have not. I think that looks really, really pretty. There she is. Happy Monday to you. Thanks for getting ready with me while Mr. Mugwump slept. I appreciated your company. If you like this video, can you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already? because we have a lot of fun here. Thanks for joining me. Y'all have a fantastic Monday. Bye.